Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Fasten your seatbelts for one of the great divisional rivalries in the NFL. This is the first of two games between these teams this year, and you know it's going to be entertaining. It's the Ravens going up against the Browns. And with that, we'll send you up to First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, which is where we'll find our broadcasting team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. Thank you, Larry. From the shores of Lake Erie, EA Sports has coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They come in 0-3 and in desperate, desperate need of a win. And as a team... Welcome back to the Village of the Thick and Sluggish Talk. Here we are, another episode of the Brown Soda Mode, right here on Man 17. If you missed any of the other episodes, or maybe on the channel, the playlist. Looks like the Ravens are rushing around down there. Penalty flag on Alex Lewis. Here we go. Third and twelve. Here in the first, but a third down situation forthcoming. Let's get into the action. Drew Brees looks like he's the quarterback. There you have it, folks. Good job by the Browns to get there. So they will punt it. Second drive of the game, first for this offense, and they have it in a tough spot, backed up toward their own goal line. this forward only up to about the seven. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tough defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his job. And he got it. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time, it actually puts a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. here on first down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. On every offensive coordinator, every play call or sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. So Big Ben will be under pressure and incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. On third down, Roethlisberger. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Illegal block in the back. Return team.
Still nothing, nothing here in quarter one, but an early test to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. From the gun on third down, Breeze. Nice one there. They stop him for only three that time. And that's bring Fourth and two. Will they go for it or what are they going to do here? They punt it. 39 yards on the punt. Penalty flag of four yards. AP rushing out here. 10 yard reception to Travis Kelsey. Five yards. Intercepted. Eric Weddle. For the defense, let's see if they can step up. We drop in on a first down in the red zone. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. Are soul searching now? I would say so. They need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the field a lot more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But we'll see the average. When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL. A lot of that is the speed of the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college... What do we got here? Roughing the passer? ...moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses, and now we're seeing it in the NFL. Offense. Those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield. Similar to that. Hoaring on the offense. Butler, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. They'll come out in the pistol. On play action, now Breeze. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defense is back. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way, and what else do you want? And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Oh, another sack. Fourth down at 32. And they're going to go for the field goal here. Well, certainly some teams are not intimidated by down and distance on defense, are they? Third and very long. <laughs> Let's go get this guy Kick again. is up, and it is good. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And the Ravens strike first at three zip. There it is. 67 yards on the kickoff. No return. The touchback. Five yards for AP. Incomplete pass intended for Larry Fitzgerald. Penalty flag, five yards. Five yards for AP. Negative two on the rush. 15 yards to Travis Kelsey. Five yards to AP. Incomplete. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop. In the second hey, quarter. Watch in, watch in. Kim, Third and five, in. so they bring in an extra defensive back. Oh, Expecting right, pass. Right, by 32. Right, right. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. Picked off. A great read and it's picked off. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42 yards. Defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down to the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Freeze. Caught left side, Gilmore. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. We're going to try another field goal, perhaps. Justin Tucker. He has hit from 61 in his career, so he has the leg for this. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. Incomplete. It's or, or, or no good, rather. Wide to the right. Here come the Browns. And now the Browns offense trots back onto the field. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short... Big Ben goes down, didn't even have time to survey the field. the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. 
The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, incomplete again. Big Ben could not even plant. Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target, and it's third down. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy knocks in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. Travis so Kelsey. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The Browns send out their punter now as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So that'll be marked down as a 19-yard punt. That was awful. So here we go, third quarter. Still 3-0, Baltimore. AP with the four yard rush. 12 yard reception. Four yard rush, AP. Sack. There's the punt. Four yard rush. A complete pass by Drew Brees. They will punt it. Here come the Browns. AP, four yards. Four yards. And here we go. Well, points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. That's like what Nichols said here defensively on third and two. Did he get it? I think he did. And he's got enough for the first across mid. Here we go. Penalty flat, five yards. Pass dropped by Travis Kelsey. Penalty flag of five yards. The points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. Play action. It's Roethlisberger. Incomplete. Now was tipped, altered the ball a little bit, but... There's no way I can make a 60-yard field goal, folks. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Oh, no. This is Bobby, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. That was not good, folks. That was not good at all. Points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. Defense sinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Now Breeze on third down. Threw it away. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. Well, there goes the field goal unit on. There's Justin Tucker now for the Raven field goal try. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. And Tucker's we got it. kick right there is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. Well, the way things are, Roethlisberger, three or two interceptions. By the way things are looking, folks, this game could be a lot more different than it is. The Browns lead trail up to 6 0. Adrian Peterson is injured. Patrick Wilkerson going to get the call here. Well, points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. Three down, three down. Here we go. Black 80. That ends the third quarter. And we're back now here in Cleveland. A third down looming here as this defense is hoping to preserve the shutout in this fourth quarter. Let's see how they fare. Well, the Ravens bring out an extra 
defensive back here on third down. Could be a blitzer. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down and a yard. There we go. Nice play, baby. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. This could be a mistake here by the Browns, but they're going to go for it. And they're going to the ground attack. No. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the... This defense in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. A nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. And that is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Crockett Gilmore. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that will make our score. Our nine. defense is doing great, folks. Our offense is not doing great. Wilkerson for three yards. 18 yards to Ash. 15 yards to Mincy. This offense have got a really nice drive going. And now it's first and goal. Can they finish it off and punch it in the end zone? And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the wall. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. No running now. Out of the gun. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now it's Raffelsberger. That's caught at the run. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Their dangerous wide receiver. His first touchdown on the year. And the Browns have cut it. Extra point attempt is good. Kickoff. Brown's hoping to hold him here. Touchback. Well, this defense already down on the scoreboard here in a one-score game. They need a stop. They need a quick stop. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They have the football. They're looking good, but the lead is just two. So any mistake in a field goal can beat you. They got to be careful. And that's where it gets difficult because you don't want that to leak into your thinking. You want to play like, hey, we got the advantage. We can close this out. Don't play for fear, and they can win this game. See if they can play fear-free and hang on. Again, we'll see the pistol here. That was a good start run there. While one picked up the first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's well, the Browns are going to lose this one, folks, again. It's 9-7. to seven. So the defense is great in this game. The defense held only the three field goals that uh, didn't get into the red zone. But Big Ben had two interceptions, and one of those interceptions was not was not seen on screen. Second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. And he'll give it here to his running back, and he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42 yard line. Three yards on the pick up there, and they've got it back to third and ten. Now, hang on here. Timeout called, timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third. Oh, this is it, folks. The Browns are going to lose this for 9 7. And defensively, a dime look, six DBs. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the end. Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll put it away for the fourth time today.
And now a high kick here as they'll try to cover this one. Now this is fielded in the end zone. Blocky, blocky, blocky. That would have been great to run that all the way. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Ravens, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they'll be back home next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for the Browns, they'll sink now to 0 and 4. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Carolina Panthers. So there you have it, folks. The Browns. Just can't get anything gored here. The defense, as you see in the title of the video, the defense reigns supreme. The offense, not so much. Uh, we did get a touchdown. Uh, I really think that this offense just ain't clicking. Uh, just the offensive line, I think, you know, our, our offense together, uh, we got, you know, a lot of weapons on the offense. We got Big Ben, uh, who is... Uh, uh, at the helm but I don't think that this offensive line is any good uh, our offensive line just cannot get things together here we do got players to negotiate we will do that here real quickly uh, let's give him that see what he thinks I think free agency will be better for me in the long run. Okay, whatever, Thomas. You go get bent. Uh, so we want to advance the week real quick. We'll scout some college players. Like I said, I think our offensive line needs to be uh, needs to be uh, revamped here because I think that that is our problem. Uh, what does everybody think you have in the, opportunity the comments? To move your team to a new city, the choice is yours. Move your team to a new city. Uh, no, we're not going for a new city. Uh, let's see. Let's go over to uh, manage team. We want to go to injury report. Okay, so AP just got maybe got the wind knocked out of him or something or another. A stinger and had to uh, be out for the rest of the game, so which is good, which is good. But yeah, we're not going to move this team to a new location, folks. The Browns don't need to be moved to a new location. Or do they? Do you think a fresh, uh, fresh new team what might might work for the Browns? I say no. It's not happening. <laughs> Scratch your claw box if you need to become a Wolfpack fam today. Sniff and bite into the bell icon. Become part of the location squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. Oh, we stay hungry, hunger like the wolf. Oh, I am out.